colored by addition. It's how the television works. It's how your LEDs work. This is how the eyes produce color. Different colors of light combine to produce all the colors of the rainbow. So the light that makes the yellow hits your eyes. And it activates the little cone cells. Cone cells are the color part of your vision. On that. And the primary colors, the primary colors of addition are the only colors you can see. You can only see four colors. Because in your, your cone cells, there are four types of cone cells, four different pigments in your cone cells. There are cone cells with red pigment. There are cone cells with blue pigment. And there are two types of cone cells with two different kinds of green pigment. So there's two types of greens, a blue and a red. Why two types of greens? Well, let's say, what, are, what color is the brightest our eyes are most sensitive to? Red, that yellowish, greenish color. So that's why green, green. We see green. Also in your eyes and your retina. Do you think they're all spread out evenly? No, actually most of the cells are right behind your pupil. The area called is what's the flovia and the macula, right behind your pupil, then they spread out on that. And that's your color vision. Now color only gives you fuzziness. Color is very high energy. You need a lot of light to activate your color vision. It takes a lot of energy. The other cells in your eye in your retina are the rods. The rods are the black and white part of your vision, they're the low light part of your vision, and they are the um, the fine detail part of your vision. If you only had cone cells, things would look kind of fuzzy. Look kind of fuzzy. It's the rods that give everything that sharpness, the edges and things like that. It's also the part of your vision that works at night. Your color part of your vision, cones don't work at night. You know, like you look at your car, you have a red car, does it look red at night? Yeah. Yeah, well, because guess what? You know it's red. Your brain makes it red. Ever had a case where you looked at something, you, you were going somewhere at night, and you got up and it was dark, and you looked at something you thought it was one color, and you get up in the morning and it was a completely different color? Because your brain plays tricks on you. Remember all those little optical illusions? Yeah. Your play, brain plays tricks on you because your, your color vision does not work very well at night. This is why animals that don't generally hunt only at night, they're only active at night, they don't have any cone cells. They don't have cone cells in their eyes because it doesn't do them any good. You don't work in the daylight, you don't need color. Everything black and white. It's also why, why why do we know dogs can only see black and white? Well, they have no cone cells. If they take they dissect their eyes, they have no cone cells in there. It's only rods. Some animals have much better color vision than this, like some ducks. I mean, Brad, some, some species of duck have like seven or eight different type colors of cone cells. So they have seven or eight things. They see the color much better, and the thing has to do with finding wetlands, you know, from from the air, finding wet areas and things like that on that. So, but primary colors, those primary colors are the ones we can see. And basically, just like your ears get activated, little send little signals to your brain for hearing, your cones and rods send little signals to your brain back here. Vision is back here. I think hearing is like right here. But vision is right in the back. It's one of those weird things. Vision, for the part of your brain that has vision in your eyes, you know the you know the nerves grow grow from the eye. The optic nerve grows from the eyes, and then there's nerves that grow from the optic center of your brain, and they meet in the middle. Yeah. It's amazing we any of us can see. Is it? It's like, if you imagine you, it's like growing in the middle. Boom! Meets in the middle, and they combine. You can see. It's one of those miracles of nature. So the primary colors are red, green, and blue. And you might say, "Well, that's not what I learned." That's true. Because you learned the subtraction. The primary colors of subtraction are different. Sorry, are different. The complementary colors. Now, a complementary color. Now, if I combine all three of these colors, I get what? White. This is the difference. If I take all the, in theory, if in subtraction, if I take all the colors of subtraction and combine them together, I should get black. You don't really you get kind of a yucky brown color. This is why in traditional printing, there's four there's four plates, one each for the three primary colors of subtraction, and then one the last one is black. But
There are complement colors. If I join a primary and its complement, you get white. Red combines with cyan. Cyan, it's like turquoise. Cyan and red make white. Cyan is the complement for it. Green and magenta are complements. They make white. Blue and yellow are complements. <coughs> By the way, these three are the primaries for subtraction. And we'll get there. You might say, but I learned blue, red, and yellow. Well, that's because little kids don't understand cyan, magenta, and yellow. They understand yellow, but they don't understand cyan and magenta, so they change it to blue and red. But it's really cyan. Like when I had done dyeing and I didn't have a color I wanted, I always have turquoise, because in dye you buy turquoise, it's not called cyan, it's turquoise. And I have magenta and I have yellow, and I just have to combine them and I can get other colors. I combine them in other colors. I also know that if I just use these three, if I use these three, like if I do something, wherever the, the boundaries are, it's going to be a different color. So if I want something that has a whole rainbow, do I have to use a rainbow's worth of color? Yeah. No, because I just have to use these three. Because as they mix together in the cloth, they're going to form different colors. It'll give me like a whole rainbow effect on that. But that's the trick. Kind of getting ahead of myself. But this is addition. Addition. This is how it works. Anybody need more time? So I look at Caleb. Now, Ted, I don't know why it came out bluish. The wall, this wall is white. If you were at the exploratorium, this wall is white. And there are three lights shining on it. There's a red light, a blue light, and a green light shining on this. And as they, as you have shadows, the different shadow, the background is white, and the different shadows are going to have different colors depending on which light is being blocked. And this is what we're going to talk about next time. All right, so no homework tonight. Actually, homework is work on your projects. Work on your projects. Now, if you get done now, you have to worry about a break because believe me, I've given you enough time. I will set it up after the due date, but I'm going to take points yeah. off. Homework. If it's late, I'm going to take, I have decided. I guess it depends on how light it is. The more it's late, the more I'm probably going to take off. So there's no excuse you have enough to do it, there's no excuse not being in on time.